In Search of Lost Time, also known as Remembrance of Things Past, is a seven-volume novel written by French author Marcel Proust. The novel is a semi-autobiographical work that explores the themes of memory, time, and the elusive nature of happiness. The novel follows the narrator, Marcel, as he recalls and reflects upon his life, particularly his youth and early adulthood, and his interactions with a wide range of characters from various social classes. The novel begins with Marcel's memories of his childhood in the fictional town of Cambrai, which is inspired by Proust's own childhood home in Illiers. If you'd like to listen to this book on Audible for free, you can click the link in the description below. If you'd rather read this book, I've added a link to Amazon. Please feel free to leave a comment suggesting another book you'd like me to summarize. Now back to the summary. In the first volume, Swan's Way, Marcel reflects on his childhood memories of his family's summer home in Combray and his encounters with a wealthy socialite named Charles Swan. Marcel becomes enamored with Swan's social circle and the glamorous parties they attend, but also observes the social hierarchy and superficiality of high society. In the second volume, In the Shadow of Young Girls in Flower, Marcel reflects on his adolescent years and his relationships with several young women, including Albertine Simonet, who becomes a major character throughout the series. Marcel becomes increasingly preoccupied with the passage of time and the fleeting nature of happiness. In the third volume, The Germant Way, Marcel enters high society and becomes friends with the aristocratic Germant family. He observes the social rituals and customs of the upper class, but also realizes the limitations of social status and the ephemeral nature of fame. In the fourth volume, Sodom and Gomorrah, Marcel explores the themes of homosexuality and the scandalous affairs of the upper class. The novel also delves into the political climate of the time, particularly the Dreyfus Affair, which divided French society. In the fifth volume, The Captive, Marcel's relationship with Albertine becomes more central to the story. Marcel becomes increasingly possessive of Albertine, and their relationship is marked by jealousy, insecurity, and deception. In the sixth volume, The Fugitive, Marcel's relationship with Albertine becomes even more tumultuous, and he begins to question his own desires and identity. Marcel also reflects on the nature of artistic creation and the role of the artist in society. In the final volume, Time Regained, Marcel reflects on the passage of time and the loss of his youth and innocence. He also reunites with several characters from his past and reflects on the meaning of his life and the legacy he will leave behind. Throughout the novel, Proust employs a stream-of-consciousness narrative style, in which the narrator's thoughts and memories are intertwined and sometimes fragmented. Proust also employs a rich and detailed writing style, often describing sensory experiences in great detail. In Search of Lost Time has been widely acclaimed for its exploration of memory, time, and the human psyche. It has been cited as one of the greatest works of modern literature and has influenced countless writers and artists. Please click the subscribe button and head down to the description below to listen to this book for free on Audible. See you in the next summary.